Hello children. Today in EVS 1 for standard 4, we are going to learn a new lesson, water for every household. In our previous lessons related to water, we learned the different sources of water, the different methods of filtration and settling to make water safe for drinking. In our today's lesson, we are going to learn the different ways in which water can be stored in our houses, how does water reach our homes, and the ways in which we can save water. We need water all the time. Water is very essential for all living things. We need water for different purposes like drinking, cooking, bathing, cleaning, washing, watering the plants, etc. We store water in different containers in our houses. When we need water, we use it. Earlier, brass and copper pots as well as earthen pots were used to store water. Huge tanks are used to store more capacity of water in houses or on top of buildings. Nowadays, steel or plastic is also used to make different containers for storing water. Now we shall learn about how to take care of drinking water. Drinking water should always be covered with a proper lid to avoid dust and germs from entering it. Contaminated water can cause diseases. To ensure good hygiene, we must have safe drinking water. That is why we take special care of water we store for drinking and cooking. If we dip our hands in the water to take it out, the dirt on our hands can enter the water. So we use a dipper to take the water and we replace the lid at once. But the best method of taking water is to have a tap on the container. This way it becomes easier to take the water and it also prevents contamination. When the water in a container is finished, we wash the container well before refilling it. If we take such care, drinking water remains clean. Water never becomes stale. Some people believe that the previous day's drinking water must be thrown away and fresh water stored every day because the previous day's water becomes stale. But this is a misconception. Throwing away that water amounts to wasting good water. We can use this water for washing, watering the plants, etc. Now let's see an experiment how water is supplied to different places at the same time. Take a plastic bottle. Cut off its upper narrow portion. Make four small holes on the four sides of the bottle near its base. Take four straws and fix each of it to the four holes tightly. Fill the bottle with water. What do you see? Water flows from all the four tubes. What does this tell us? 
Using pipes, we can distribute water stored in one place to several different places at the same time. Now we shall learn about supply of water. Water stored at one place can be supplied to several places by proper distribution. For this purpose, huge tanks are installed on the roofs or terrace of buildings. Water from these tanks can be piped to the kitchens, bathrooms, toilets in these buildings. When taps are fitted on the pipes, water can be taken or shut off according to the need. This is how water from just one tank can be obtained at several places in a building at the same time. Water supply for a human settlement Water for a town or a city comes from lakes, rivers, reservoirs, etc. Large pipes are used to take water to a purification center. In the purification center, the water is chemically treated. This is also known as the water treatment plant or the filtration unit. Strong huge pumps push this water through the pipes. Why do we need pumps? It is because water always flows downwards but we want to lift water upwards to all the tanks in the buildings. So, we have to use some force. A machine used for lifting water are called pumps. Pumps run on diesel or electricity. So, to supply water in the cities or towns, we need many strong and huge pumps. Water is taken out through closed pipes so that no dirt or germs can get mixed with the water. The water comes first in water tanks in your area. In many houses or buildings, there are big water tanks at the top. From these tanks, water comes to our taps through smaller pipes. We fill up water in that tank and then through smaller pipes from these tanks, the water comes to the taps in the house. And then when we turn on the tap, we get water. So this way is the journey of water from source to house. Even today, in some places, water is drawn from wells or bow wells. In some places where there is shortage of water, it is supplied by means of tankers. We must always remember that water needs to be always portable so that our health is not endangered. We use water from the wells, bow wells, tankers or from wherever we use. See that water is safe for drinking. Drinking water must always be boiled at least for 15 minutes so that the germs in it will die and water is safe for drinking. What can we do to save water? While brushing, we can turn the tap off to save water. 
while washing our hands. When we are applying the soap, we can turn the tap off to save water and when we want to rinse our hands, we can turn on the tap. If we see any taps leaking in our houses, buildings, schools or anywhere else in our surroundings, it has to be repaired immediately to avoid wastage of water. Every drop of water counts, so reduce your use. And we need to save water as it is valuable, so take good care of it. Hope you all have understood the lesson and enjoyed watching the video. Kindly like, share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching.